Alright, what's going on guys? Reaflexi here, bringing you part 2 of my zombie map rankings. Yeah, this should be the final part. Check in the description if you guys want to skip to any map specifically. I'll have all the times labeled for this video. But, three things I want to mention. First thing, this is a Magic Reef Turning Round 20. That's the first playthrough and the second thing is... Or the second game is uh, Solo First Room on Buried where I have the L set. Uh, second thing I want to mention is... I want to be fair in saying that I didn't get into zombies until Kino to Toten and 5 and Black Ops 1. So I actually first experienced Noct, Varuk. Well, I, I played Noct a little bit. I, Varuk, Shinonuma, and Doris after I experienced like Kino and 5. So a lot of people say Doris was their favorite map ever. You'll see it. It's still pretty high up there for me, but it's not my number one. And all the World of War maps I feel like might have been downgraded a little bit just because I played Kino and 5 which were so much more advanced than like say over Ruck at the time like I didn't play it right when it came out so I, I wasn't going to try and adjust like my rankings for that I just remember how I felt like when I first played it like I played Kino and then I played Dereese. Dereese was still cool but you know it was it was whatever so the World of War maps are kind of not valued perfectly because I didn't play them till after I experienced really good maps in Black Ops 1 and the last thing I want to mention is and I touched on it in the first video, but I have a really good idea of how I felt when the maps first came out. Most people, when I say most people, 60 to 70 percent of people I feel would say that the newest or one of the newest maps is their favorite or really high up there on their rankings. But that's just because they're having a lot of fun with it right now because it's brand new. I actually remember how much fun I had with each map in the beginning. So that's why I think they're ranked proportionally. And as you'll see, that holds true for me as I go back to a Spoiler alert, a uh, Black Ops 1 is my number one map, so uh, that's all I wanted to do. We'll get into it now with the maps here. At number 8, I went with Nuketown Zombies from Black Ops 2. Uh, I thought they did a really good job making this map fresh, uh, considering they brought it back in multiplayer and zombies. Like, multiplayer was a really nice updated version, and then zombies is a earth-torn, you know, after the rocket hit. I thought they incorporated it nice, especially with the ending cutscene. But I thought it looked really good for a remake map that I played for hours on end in Black Ops 1 and played multiplayer in Black Ops 2. Uh, it still felt new. Obviously no new weapons, that's why it's not too high up there. Small map, but I really like what they did with the layout and the look of it. So uh, it lands at number 8 on my list and I gave it an 8 out of 10. Next I went to Mob of the Dead as my number 7. Also an 8, but just a little bit better than Nuketown. Um, Cell Block Grief was terrible. <laughs> Sounds like I'm going in the wrong direction here, but that was the bad part about the map. But I really like the feel of the map, the thunder, the Easter eggs were pretty cool. How you could uh, kill your own teammate, whatever. Um, I really like building the plane. Thought it was a little bit unrealistic at some point, especially like crashing down into the gate bridge. Like I thought they could have made that more realistic, like a plane crash landing or something, like a smooth skid or something, not just like a fall from 900 feet, you'd be dead. But like I said, I I like unrealistic to an extent but not that bad though everything in zombies is almost everything is unrealistic but you know a game is not a game unless it's somewhat human like and you can compare compare it to what's going on so that was just uh one of the little problems i had with mob of the dead but i really like the feel of it again the easter egg i liked how they brought it to alcatraz it's a pretty eerie feeling so again it lands at number seven on my list overall Number six, many people's favorite of all time, Darice from World at War. I gave it an eight again, but on top of my eights. But uh, again, this might be downgraded a little bit. As I mentioned, the World at War maps kind of got, uh, I don't know, out of luck. Um, just because I didn't experience it. Everyone said the teleporter was amazing and the monkey bombs. I'm sure that was mind-blowing at the time. But uh, like I said, from my experience, my first time playing it, it was still still a very good map, obviously. If it can earn that high of a rating after playing Kino and uh, 5 and Ascension, a couple maps in Black Ops 1, then you know, it was a good map. But, uh, you know, I wasn't as impressed as everybody else with it. But still lands the 6th spot on my list at an 8 out of 10. Number 5, I put Kino der Toten, the first map to put the Thunder Gun in. A really cool weapon, really overpowered, but uh, still nonetheless really cool. The layout of Kino really was uh, very, very simple. It was basically Varuk, you know, with an alley in the middle. You know, the teleporter was simple uh, to pack a punch, but the stage was still a good area to train up. And at the time, you know, it was the first map of Black Ops 1. Very, very good progress towards uh, including running spots and actually being able to get the high rounds. The Nova Gas crawlers I actually thought were cool, which everyone complained about. But, you know, if you had the Thunder Gun, you don't have to worry about them anyways. But I really like the layout of the map. Traps were good, um, and you can go to really high rounds on that map. Obviously, it was one of those. That was really one of the first maps where you could do that on, besides Darius. But 
that's when I first came into Zombies, and that uh, that map definitely was uh, pretty awesome at that time. So that landed the number five spot on the list at an 8.5 out of 10. Number four on my list is Buried from Black Ops 2, the third map pack. Um, I really, really love the feel of this this map. This map, like playing it for the first week, was one of the funnest. Uh, just because I, I don't know, I thought the idea of a cave and whatever, and you'll see that comes back into play in my number one, hint, hint, if you could pick up on that. I don't know, I thought the uh, feeling of being underground and trapped in that was pretty cool. I thought they could have had some more aesthetics, uh, like some, some cooler stuff, but I really think they did a great job with Lenny or Leroy, whatever you call him, the big dude. He had so many powers that were so cool, and uh, how he could smash the doors, he was like a... Like a perfect version too of George. I liked how he can carry the mystery box team, whatever. Even though all of it wasn't purposeful, he still had a lot of cool uh, things to go with. Obviously, I love the Easter egg, especially the sharpshooter part. Uh, that was really interesting, and I like the overall feel of the map. Um, it was very good. The trap, new traps were cool, or the uh, buildables, a lot of new buildables. How Lenny could do that, whatever. All the parts were in one building, which I actually liked. It was so so much better than trying to look all around the map like they were on Die Rise, but I really liked the feel of the map, really liked playing it, uh, didn't like how you could camp to get the high rounds at first, but I got over it and realized that it was actually kind of fresh and break instead of from running circles from zombies for hours, that it was an interesting new strategy, Wonder Weapon was cool and everything, Ray Gun Mark II came out, so a lot of big advancements in this, I thought Lenny was a big risk, and I thought it paid off, unlike George, I thought he was a really cool, uh, character that you can interact with. So uh, Barry lands a flat nine and number four on my list overall. Number three on my list and one that I feel like I'm going to take a lot of heat for is Green Run or Transit. I thought it was a brilliant map. I don't know if it was the build up that it was the first map and they advertised so much about it since you know the game was just coming out. They advertised for two or three months you know hinting at like the skull dead zones and the bus and the bus driver. Uh, uh, but it did not disappoint me. I, th I was like, I, how are they doing a bus in zombies? I just didn't see how it was going to work. They made it work perfectly fine for me. I was fine with the fog. I was fine with the denizens. Um, I, I could see it being annoying at random. This is kind of random. If you had like a non-HD TV, the fog, yeah. I mean, I obviously had an HD TV, so I didn't mind it. But yeah, when I'm playing at my buddy's house and it's like a non-HD TV or whatever, I, I can see it being annoying, but I thought they were a good idea either way. I thought the way they incorporated the Galvan Knuckles where you could easily get them off you was fine. I thought the Wonder Weapon, even though they clearly didn't want it to be used as it was with the quick like bursts of fire and killing a lot of zombies faster because they patched it, even though they didn't intend for that, that was brilliantly, I guess it was lucky, but uh, that was a lot of fun to go to high rounds. Um, I thought it took a lot of skill and really was engaging the jet gun, so as opposed to many people not liking it. Uh, I really did. It landed a flat nine on my list at number three. And also, they came with multiple maps with it. I know it's the same map, but the fact that they broke up town and farm was it was a really good idea. I couldn't hurt anybody. You know, it was just extra maps to play for fun. And farm, if any of you have been following me for a long time, know that that was the greatest thing that happened to Black Ops 2 Zombies. As I love grief and playing in tournaments, and a whole new thing that I never thought was possible came out of that with tournaments and literally 64 guys every week dying to get in a tournament and play against each other and it was the most competitive and fun time I've ever had in Zombies so uh, without Green Run and Transit I think people overlook it but there would be no there would be no grief and there wouldn't be what there was today with grief so uh, that's gonna cut out my number three that's gonna end my number three I'm gonna make another final video guys this one's actually about to run out of my number two and one as you know there's only two maps left Shangri-La and Moon which one will win it they're both from Black Ops 1 and I love them both, so we'll see.